Hey guys, and uh, Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button. If not, that's okay. Um, I did do a Twitter poll and I had asked for you guys to ask me questions about me and unfortunately this is only my fourth video on YouTube but I wanted to be able for you guys to get to know me. So I did get a few questions. I'm going to actually read them. And so the first one I got was from my little sister Katie. Hi, Katie. And she said, what is your favorite sibling or who is your favorite sibling? Of course, I'm not going to answer that because I do have um, five, four siblings, me being the oldest of five. Um, and no, they're all my favorite. And the next question is from my mom. She says, what is your biggest pet peeve? My biggest pet peeve is, <laughs> this is going to sound really crazy, but this is teeth. Teeth is my biggest pet peeve. And... I don't know why um, I just I when I when I meet somebody or I look at a guy the first thing that I look at is their teeth <laughs> um, the next question I got was from Tina and she says what are your goals and dreams my goal is to make a living out of life um, I don't want to wake up every morning just to I don't want to wake up every morning and just do what I have to do. I want to wake up every morning knowing that I'm making a dream come true. Um, that I'm making that day worth it, you know? And so I want you guys to also be kind of that dream and goal for me. I just want to be able to share that with anyone and everyone. And so that's my goal. My dream would have to probably be make a living out of what I am passionate and what I love to do. Something that I'm really passionate about would have to be, of course, not just makeup, but just making people smile. I do have a quirky side, and it's kind of a weird side, but it's something that not a lot of people have, and I, I love the way that I always try to care so much about someone. Sometimes if there's a situation and it doesn't affect me, I, I have those feelings from a friend who may be affected. Um, and so sometimes my, my feelings get really strong about people I care about. So if you're someone that I meet, you're someone I deeply care about right away. And so anyways, back to my dreams. My dreams would just have to be living every day like it was the last. And that would be my dream. My dream is just to be a happy person and spread on the love. The next question I have is from my roommate, Susan. Right now she's not my roommate because I live unfortunately on campus for the summer and so um, she actually has an internship somewhere else in Iowa I think it's Eslerville I'm not sure if, I'm not for sure but she said who is your favorite roomie and of course she is because she's been my only roommate um, I did have a roommate last year and she was really awesome she had to leave me for an internship in December so I was alone, so I've been alone since December, but I will have my roommate back um, in August. So I'm really excited to have her back. The question that I have is from Gwen. <laughs> I work with Gwen at Regatta, which is the restaurant that I bartend and supervise. And she said, what near and dear to your heart makes you happy? Something that really makes me happy would have to be my family. My family is everything. I would drop a bullet, I would drop anything that I'm doing to be with my family. I would probably drop out of college just to be with my family. I'm Yasmin from my work as well. She says, what is your favorite high school memory? My favorite high school memory would have to be... My favorite high school memory is kind of weird and kind of embarrassing. So I actually was walking down the stairs and I don't know if my shoe was untied I don't know what happened but for some reason I missed my foot and went sliding down let's not talk about this ever again okay because this is embarrassing Levi from my work says who is your biggest inspiration my mother has stood by my side since my father walked out she has been there since day one 
and she's always just been my ride or die, everything to support me no matter what. But my biggest inspiration would have to be my mother and my grandma. They're, it's weird because I have such a close relationship with both of them that sometimes I call my mom grandma and my grandma mom. And some of you might think that's wrong, but they've both been so close to my life, especially me being the first child, that you just share a relationship with both of them. She's a strict mother, but she's a mother who has raised me well in this country that comes with society of negativity and hell. Um, those are the inspirations that strives me to be who I am. And so I hope that you guys have an inspiration too. That concludes this video, so don't forget to subscribe. Um, if you haven't already, um, click the thumbs up if you like this video. If you want to see more um, about questions about me or comment down below if you guys want to see more Q&As, if you want to see different tutorials, stuff like that. If you saw my last video in my nails, they were horrible and now they look so much better. They're so much better, aren't they? It's crazy. Other than that, that concludes this Q&A video, and I thank everyone for supporting me and asking me questions, and I just realized today that I was up to 26 subscribers, so thank you so much! I really appreciate it. I know it's not a lot, but to me, that's the world, and so the fact that some people are actually watching me, it really excites me and gets me ready for what's going to happen a year from now. So other than that, I would love to see you guys in my next video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! What near? Me too. If I like was walking down the stairs, did I just say that?